Hello, hello again, friends and loyal Wolfpack members. Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to the Engineers 2.1 Beta 2. Okay, so why am I sitting here in my hangar with a vulture? Well, what I want to go and do is have a bit of a closer look at the new multi cannons that have been introduced into the game. And just look at that little beauty. We have, if we can see, one of the new large multi cannons. Now, by now, you should be no stranger to the fact that we've had a couple of new weapons introduced into the game. We've had the large multi cannon, as we can see here, and we've also had a huge multi cannon. Uh, we've also had a huge beam laser as well, but we're going to cover the beam laser in a video of its own. Now, the reason I'm showing you this on a vulture is I just wanted to show you the scale of this. It is a very, very nice scale. I was actually expecting this to be perhaps a little bit larger, but it's certainly no small weapon by any stretch of the imagination. It just feels a little bit smaller than the cannon, but that's not really surprising. Now, in this clipper, I have gone and outfitted it with a pair of these multi-cannons. I just wanted to go and show you the scale of them on this. So here we are, let's go to the hard points and let's have a look at the multi-cannons. Now you can't really see how big they are in relation to the ship here. So what we're going to go and do is we're going to go back, go into the livery and have a look at the paint pack. Here we go, you can actually see how big they are on the engine nacelles here. They do definitely seem a decided amount smaller. But that's only to be expected. We've gone from a ship that fits on a small landing pad to one that fits on a large. So, yes, they look really, really nice. Now, I have said that these multi cannons do feel a bit more of an imperial design, but mainly because it's just because they're grey or white. So, what we can do is remove the paint pack that I've got here, and you can just see how much better they fit on a stock white clipper so i think they are absolutely awesome and what we're going to go and do now is we're going to go jump over to yet another ship so we can go and have a look at the huge multi-cannon okay so here we are with the fertilance and as you can see we've gone and fitted the huge multi-cannon onto the bottom of the ship I do think that this new multi cannon actually fits the Ferdinand's very, very well. It's not as big as the huge cannon, and it's not as compact as the huge plasma accelerator. I actually think that this is possibly going to end up being the definitive weapon of this ship. But what we need to go and do is at some point actually go out and test these out in the field. But before we go and do that, I want to go and have a look at the differences in the stats. And in order to do that, we're going to go jump over to yet another ship. Basically, we're going to go jump over to the Corvette, where I've got both the large and the huge multi-cannons on there. And there we are, a lovely pair of huge multi-cannons. So, what I wanted to do is go and compare the stats of all the different classes of multi-cannon just so that we can go and get a little bit more of an understanding about what these two new classes of multi-cannons bring to the game. So let's go into the hard points. Let's have a look at the huge multi-cannons. Now let's have a look at, first of all, the clip size. Ammo clip size is going to be 90 and maximum ammo is 2100. So that's not bad. You're going to be able to get through a lot of fighting before you need to go and reload this. Now, let's also have a look at the mass. It is 8 tons. Integrity 80, so 80 integrity points you've got to work through before you end up destroying it. Power draw is 1.22 megawatts as standard. That will change if you go decide to go and modify these with the engineers. Boot time, 0 seconds. Damage per second, so 23.3 damage per second. Damage per shot is 
So distributed draw, 0.37, and thermal load, 0.5. We've also got an armor piercing rating of uh, 68, and a maximum range of four kilometers. So that is certainly no slouch. We've got a shot speed of 1,600 meters per second. So these shells are very, very quick. And we've got a rate of fire of 3.4 rounds per second. So, yeah. And we also fired two rounds per shot. So that's why the damage works out to the way it is. Rate of fire is 3.4 a second. Yes, but you're firing off two at a time. So that's kind of how that goes down. Reload is five seconds. Uh, breach damage, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, or any of these particular really at the moment. I have to go and work that out myself. But anyway, let's go and compare this to the large multi-cannon. So the large multi-cannon obviously is half the weight. So it's four tons. Integrity is 64 as opposed to the 80. So it's going to get damaged a lot faster. Power draw less than a megawatt so yeah it's a good uh around about 0.2 of a megawatt less 0.23 of a megawatt less i should be about 25 wouldn't it perhaps boot time zero again damage per second 18.9 as opposed to the 23 so the damage is going down but that's fine damage per shot is also uh, reduced at 2.8 but that's fine but what we can see is it's also got a maximum range of four kilometers. Shot speed exactly the same at 1.6 uh, meters per second. But this is where we see a bit of a change. There's a rate of fire change. We go from 3.4 per second to 6.7 shots per second. Same ammo and maximum ammo size. Reload time is the same. And again, I'm not quite sure what this means. But so these two weapons are fairly well adjusted i would imagine they have a good amount of damage and they basically trade off from having more damage per shot to having a lower a, a lower rate of fire but a lot higher armor, uh, armor armor piercing rating but how does that compare to the already existing multi-cannon the largest that we had currently in the game which is the medium multi-cannon. As we can see, the medium multi-cannon is already four tons as well. So how is that possible? We've got mass of four tons on both the medium and the large. I don't quite understand how that works. Integrity obviously goes down to 51, so it's more easily damaged. Power draw drops off quite substantially from 0.97 to 0.64. Again, no boot time. Damage per second is 12.6 which is down from the 18.9. So again, we're going down in damage per second. So yeah, it's a massive drop off from the huge. Uh, distributed draw, 0.14 megawatts. Damage per shot, 1.6. Got those around the opposite way. Thermal load, 0.2. What's the thermal load on this one? Thermal load, 0.5 and 0.3. I think I forgot to cover that before. So 0.5, 0.3. 0.2 and 0.1 okay but you still got the same maximum range still got the same shot speed still got the same ammo and ammo and uh, clip size armor piercing drops off so the main benefit about getting the larger weapons is that they will have a lot better armor piercing so that's kind of a obvious thing to have. But anyway, that's pretty much enough. The only main issue is, for me, is, where is it? The rate of fire. We go from the class one, 8.3, to 7.7, to 6.7, to 3.4. Now they've got the same clip size and the same ammo capacity what this is going to mean is that the smaller the multi-cannon you have the faster it's going to run out of ammo simply because of this rate of fire difference 
So with this ship, because I can happily fly around and just let rip with all these multi cannons, my small ones will run out of out of ammunition most. If I, uh, my small ones will run out of I mean, my class one multi cannons will run out of ammunition the fastest, followed by the medium, followed by the large, and then lastly followed by the huge. But that's not the biggest of problems. That's enough looking at them in the hangar. Let's go out and see how they work out in the field. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the animation of the large multi cannon on the clipper. Now, I've got to say, I really do like this new sound of the multi cannon. And the fact that it trails off a little bit towards the end of the clip. It really sounds a lot more kind of realistic with the way just the way it sounds I really do like it what do you guys think what do you think of the animation and sound of the multi cannons but anyway as you can tell we're gonna jump in out with the clipper first and we're gonna go and see how these new multi cannons do in combat so telly ho commanders Oh, looks like we're being interdicted. This works to my advantage. So let's submit. Weapons out. The guy's wanted. So, let's go. Come back here, you. Take his shield down. And then let's. No, come back. Yeah, we're not letting you get away. I'm sorry, that's not how this works. And just look at these large multi cannons just melt his hull away. Yeah, you're not getting away from me, buddy boy. Oh, I do like the sound of this. I do think the new large multi cannons do fit the sound of the Imperial ships. And there we go, he's gone. Okay, so we found a few more targets. We've got some sidewinders. So let's go and see how this works against Sidewinders. I imagine this is going to be serious overkill. Yeah, there we go. He's gone. And we have an eagle. This is going to be hilarious. Let's give this a go, shall we? Take his shields down. Come on, just the shields down. There we go. Multi cannon time. Let's see, it is being a little bit more difficult hitting him because he is a much smaller target. They do seem to wobble about a fair amount. Now we've got a couple of Torval shields on us now, so uh, let's try and see what we can do about this. That's that guy down. Now I really don't want to fire on this guy because he's not wanted. So let's get the hell out of dodge. We've pretty much seen how devastating these multi cannons can be. So let's go and have a look at the huge. We have this one fitted to the bottom of a Ferdlands, and as I said previously, I do think this weapon fits the ship a lot better although I do think the recoil animation is a little bit off but what do you guys think but anyway let's go and see how this looks in some combat 
Oh, again we are being interdicted, and this time it is by a wanted alliance enforcer. So let's go and give this a go as well. So weapons out, targeted. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Oop, there we go. Let's go and cause some noise. But let's see. There we go. There go his shields. He's not going to want to stick around. But that's not exactly surprising. Considering that this multicam is really making short work of his hull. So let's go and give that another bit of a go. Now as you can see, the longer ranges we are finding it a little bit more difficult to hit. But, wow, this really does make the this ship a lot more pleasant to fly. And he's dead. Well, we have our first target, a wanted courier. This is going to get interesting. So, first of all, we've got to take his shields down. So let's go and do that. Scan detected. There we go. Shields are down. And let's go and take out. Warning. Impulse attack. Yeah, I hear that. So let's try and maximise our shields whilst we're taking this guy out. This guy is a master, so he's going to be having some decent armour. But well, her shot, we're not doing too bad amounts of damage to him. There we go, we got rid of him. It did take a while. But well, let's get our ass turned around. Have a look at these guys. None of them are wanted, but they are all elite or expert coming after me. So, I don't fancy sticking around. So, after that little test run, what do I think of the new multi-cannons? I do think that they are a great addition to the game. They are long, long overdue. And I do like how different the two new multi-cannons are. The large multi-cannon feels more like the typical minigun slash multi-cannon. Uh, but I do like the new sound effects that it has. It does feel like it will fit like the Imperial Clipper and Imperial ships a lot more. Whereas the huge multi-cannon it's more like a flat cannon. 
As you saw from the animations, currently in Beta 2, they are still a little bit off. But I really do like it. I do think that this is pretty much an all-round ship weapon. It'll go great on the Anaconda. It'll go great on the Fertile Lance. And it'll go great on the Corvette. In fact, I like it the most on the Corvette. Although I do think that this makes this particular weapon does make the Fertile Lance much more appealing for me, at least, anyway. So, at the end of the day, I do give two really big thumbs up to the new multi-cannons. Now, we are going to go and have a look at the beam laser in the next video, so stay tuned for that one. But I do hope you've enjoyed this video, and I do hope it's given you a lot more information about the multi-cannons for when 1.6 goes live. Because these weapons are going to be part of 1.6, so you do not need Horizons to get them. But anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, please do hit those like and subscribe buttons to get more information on Beta 2.1 coming up very soon. But anyway, guys, I've been Commander Chaos Wolf. You guys have been epic. I will see you soon. Until then, Commanders, keep flying and stay shiny.